Imagine how your life will be if you are in total control, if your body, every body parts, their functioning, the entire energy system will be under your control. Isn't it amazing? Fabulous? Yes, it is. I know everyone wants to have complete control over their life so that they can lead the life according to their needs and expectations. And many of us are working for it regularly. But since many of you are unaware of the required yogic actions through which all this is possible, you are unable to achieve your goal. So in today's video, we will be learning two Kriyas through which this all can be possible, through which you can have complete control over your actions, the activities of your body, the energy system and all the organs and their functioning. So the Kriya which you will be learning today and will practice regular basis with given instruction will not only help you to gain full control over your body but also control the internal and external actions of your body. These Kriyas are an important activities which has been performed by many yogis from the time immemorial. Through these Kriyas, yogis gave life to their bodies even under difficult circumstances. If you live in India or any Asian territories, so often you may have heard many stories that there are many yogis who can survive by keeping their body warm even at the lowest temperature. They are changing the function and the nature of their body when they want. And there are many stories as well that there are many yogis who can cool down the body temperature when the outside temperature is high. How this possible? Is this miracle? No, it is not a miracle. It is a simple Kriya. It is simple body control functioning. It is a simple body control techniques which you also can learn because all the yogis have given these techniques to us with so many explanations in so many scriptures. But the right way of performing it very important and regular way of performing this very important. Many yogis can even control the hunger, thirst and many other required needed actions from the body which is very necessary for common people to live the life and because of that they can live 100 years even more. That's why many stories are there. These yogis they are living thousand years even more than that. There are many believe that the great number of yogis are still living in this planet for many years and they are regularly transmitting their energy to the world to keep the world in order, to keep the world in a better place. So these techniques and the benefits which you are learning today, you will perform this every day and you will also share the video so that everyone can learn this technique and get the benefit out of this. The name of these Kriyas are Surya Bhedi Kriya and Chandra Bhedi Kriya. So first we will learn how to perform this Kriya correctly. Then the second we will learn how it can help you to control your body and how it functions, how it works actually in your physical body, mental body, energy body. Practice to understand and perform this with me. As the name is telling you Surya Bhedi and Chandra Bhedi. Surya is a sun which lighten up. If you see this light, this light has a power which warm the entire room. The similarly, Surya, it means this energy, this Kriya, which you will regularly practice, it can lighten up. It can increase the heat in your body. It means, first of all, you can understand that those who are suffering from low heat, those who are facing challenges, that their body temperature all the time down, low body temperature, those who feel they are not having enough confidence because to have a confidence you should have a sun dominant in your body to have this power of leading in a life to be more strong in a life to be more efficient in actions you should have a sun dominant in you so it means a suri bhedi pranayam especially for those people whose sun energy is very low in them some of you may be thinking what i'm talking about sun and moon understand this clearly in your body, you have these two energies which plays the game all the time. These two energies are all the time changing. Sometimes sun is dominant, sometimes moon is dominant. And because of that, because you are under their control, 
so your behavior physical behavior mental behavior and energy behavior is also influenced by these two energies so the technique which you are learning the technique is not to be influenced by these two energies but control these energies and lead your body based on your need based on your requirements so the suri bhedi pranayam is activating the sun energy within you so we have a two energy system sun and moon and based on this ardhanarishwar the picture of shiva you might have seen ardhanarishwar sun and moon so balancing this two and when the two are balanced or you have a full control you will have full control over these two parts of the body so these two area in physical body you can understand sympathetic nervous system parasympathetic nervous system you can understand masculine energy feminine energy you can take it as a right body left body and if you talk about energy system ida nadi and pingala nadi so ida nadi is left nostril so breathing in the left pingala nadi is a right nostril nadi means energy channels so when we talk about suri bhedi pranayam how to perform this bhai suri bhedi pranayam is simply you must sit in simple cross leg it can be padmasan it can be siddhasan it can be any simple cross leg spine should be always straight and buttocks should be elevated this is the first requirement second for suri bhedi pranayam again i want to tell you before i start because of front facing camera maybe my right hand for you may look left hand so don't be mistaken focus on instructions right now if i'm raising my right hand maybe there in the video it will show you left hand so i'm using right hand so you use the right hand and bend first two finger of the right hand like that and when you bend the first two finger the first tip of the finger will touch the root of your thumb this is a mudra of the hands before you perform suri bhedi pranayam you close the left nostril with ring finger so left nostril if i'm showing you so maybe in the video it will show it will look like a right nostril but here it's a left nostril so you close the left nostril with ring finger of you by doing this mudra and you simply inhale right nostril you will inhale then you exhale from the left nostril by closing the right nostril with the thumb here like that so inhale will be all the time right nostril when the when the left nostril is blocked with a ring finger so inhalation will be right nostril exhalation will be left nostril by closing the right nostril with the thumb so every time inhale right exhale left inhale right exhale left this is surya bhedi bhedi means penetrating you are penetrating the energy flow is going and opening all the sun channel surya channel sun energy channel channel are like a pipe like a capillaries through which the prana moves freely so this is suri bhedi and when you do chandra bhedi pranayam chandra bhedi pranayam is simply close the nostril the right nostril again as i show you in the front cam right looks opposite but close the right nostril with the right hand thumb inhale will be left nostril exhale will be right nostril so inhale all the time left exhale all the time right so this kriya inhale left right inhale left right chandra bhedi pranayam it means moon energy dominant it means you are working with your moon and moon left nostril is representing moon right nostril representing sun and when it comes to head and hemisphere brain it balances the right and left hemisphere both so these are the two practices two kriyas are very important to have a complete control over the sun and moon and the body functioning based on these two energies for example if someone's sun is weak sun energy is weak the digestive system will be weak and because the digestive system is weak liver which requires sun energy fire will be weak and many other organs which required sun will be weak if the moon is weak in you it means at that time all the organs which need moon energy will be weak it means these people will have a problem related to urinary function these people will have a problem related to hormonal imbalances so these thing happens because these two energies are imbalanced so you need to perform these exercise these kriyas based on what you want to do what is weaker 
Some people, they don't have a confidence, enough confidence. As I said earlier, you need a sun energy. You must practice sun suri bhedi pranayam. Inhale right nostril, exhale left regularly. Now the question comes, how many rounds we should do? As a beginner, you start with a 10 rounds. If you are a beginner, first to three months, you will just simply inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. But slowly, slowly, when you, after three months of regular practice, you will start practicing this with kumbhaka, holding the breath. So you inhale with one nostril, you hold, and then exhale with other. If you are doing Suri Bhedi, inhale right nostril, exhale left nostril, but in between you hold. So inhale right nostril, hold for 10 seconds, exhale left nostril. This is the how you will practice. So Suri Bhedi and Chandra Bhedi Pranayam balancing and control entire system of your body.